and welcome to a special episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, rolling solo dolo, and we are here in our Madden 19 Browns rebuild. This is the special season two and review episode. If you watch my last episode, my divisional playoff game, my heartbreaking loss disappointed everyone including myself but uh this video here similar to the one i did last season i'm going to go through kind of where the team is at uh what things are looking like and kind of go through the stats and the records and all that sort of stuff from this season so first things first uh, i just want to roll through what the playoffs look like at the end of the year i still uh i'm sitting in the off season well right about to start the off season i still don't know who won the super bowl uh so we'll see here it was a uh, jags beat houston Philadelphia beat Dallas, I beat the uh, Patriots, and then the Redskins beat the Bears. Then the next round, I was beaten by the Steelers. God, if any team to beat me, Jesus. Uh, Washington beat Atlanta. Uh, Jacksonville beat Kansas City, and the Rams beat the Eagles. So in the conference championship games, it was Pittsburgh over Jacksonville and the Rams over the Redskins. So that means it was the Rams and the Steelers in the Super Bowl. God, please don't let the Steelers win the Super Bowl. Holy crap. Ah, the Rams won 24 to 8. So the Rams are the Super Bowl champions. So I guess uh, I'm going to jump right into uh, the team. I'll show you where the team is at. And at the end of the year. So the team got progressively better this year. My, my offensive line still isn't that great. My quarterback, the only one I have left on my roster is Baker Mayfield at a 95. His carrying is terrible. I, I'm still going to keep him around for another season. Uh, right here, we're looking at uh, Cohen. He's he. I rode him all season, and he broke my heart by fumbling. And the very point of the season, I needed him not to fumble the most. But he's still there. He's great. He's a 96. He's really on top of things. Chubb, I'm probably going to put uh, Duke Johnson on the trade block here. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, I can't do that yet until I'm in the next part of the offseason. So, all right. So then uh, my fullback situation, this dude is amazing. I'm going to keep him as long as I possibly can. Uh, wide receivers, we're looking at Landry. And Gordon's getting up there in age. Landry's been hurt a bunch. Uh, Callaway is awesome. Uh, Perryman and Lewis, I think, are going to be free. My, my core of receivers is probably going to look quite a bit different next year, to be honest. Uh, then, of course, Najoku. Love that guy, except he has gotten hurt too. So at least the valve, my backup, is pretty pretty serviceable. He did damn good. Um, I'm hoping I can find a franchise left tackle and move him back to guard, but that you're never going to know about that. Uh, left guard, this dude's getting old. He's I think he's actually regressed, so I may actually try to cut him or uh, trade him to see if I get anything for him at this point. Uh, center, my center's getting up there in age. My, they're not very good. I mean, I don't have anybody that's a, that's blown away. Same thing with right right guards. They're still not very good. Uh, right tackles, same situation. I mean, I'm sure they'll get better, but I'm going to still try to upgrade in free agency in the draft. Ogba, he's the guy who doesn't want to resign with me, so I am absolutely going to franchise him and trade him for whatever I can get. Uh, right end, Garrett... I think I have one more season with Garrett, and then he's a free agent, and I probably won't be able to keep him, which is extremely sad because he is a beast, but it is what it is. Uh, defensive tackle, uh, still, I mean, still pretty fucking average overall. Uh, Kirksey, I mean, my, my linebackers, they're just not anything to write home about. I'm still not that great of a team overall. These, uh, This rookie... Has come up a little bit, man. He's. I, I'm gonna see what I can do there. That's my other rookie. So, oh, and look at this guy. He's 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 gotten better too. I trust the guy I traded for last off season. So, I mean, my my core's coming along. Uh, Denzel Ward is a freaking beast. Uh, you know, and these guys. I mean, they're getting better, but they're also getting up there in age. So, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, free safety used to be a super strong point. Uh, Clem Bushrod. This guy picked up. I still have Brody Calhoun for a little while and Jabril Peppers for a little while. So I'm still pretty good there. My kicker, I like that kicker a lot. And this punter is fucking beast. And so uh, here's the draft picks I have this offseason. Let's see. I have one, one, two twos, three, two fours, two fives, two sixes, and a seven. And then the year after, I already have two firsts. So 
Um, it's going to help me out a little bit. I may do some finagling. I may trade some. I'm definitely going to do some wheeling and dealing in the off season. So we'll go ahead and move on over to stats now. Uh, go ahead and see where the team finished up for the season. So Baker Mayfield, um, he had less passing yards. Obviously, I passed near. I passed a ton less this season because I actually was able to run. Uh, but he, look at this, 20, 20, 22 and 23, I did terrible. Here is my problem with him. Oh, I can't even see his fumbles. Oh, it'll be under carrying. All right, so rushing. Tariq Cohen, 1543. I'm going to check in a second. I think, he, I think he led the league in rushing. So I can't blame the dude except for he, he caused us in the fucking playoffs, man. Ugh. It hurts my heart. Uh, oh, this is what I want to check. Baker Mayfield, mind you, he doesn't run the ball. These are just from, he had 10 fumbles this season, which is ridiculous. That's just from being sacked. Ugh, I can't even handle it. Receiving, it's so funny that Callaway was my slot receiver, and he still had the most yards out of anybody. I think he may actually be in the top couple for receiving. So, and see Landry, he's not, He's not anything to write home about. Gordon, I mean, it's I just didn't throw as much this year. Najoku only had 19 receptions before he was hurt. So we'll see. I may trade Landry. He has a giant salary. I could probably get a pretty good receiver for him, like a lower-end receiver and a draft pick. Uh, blocking, how many sacks did my... Joel Batonio gave up eight sacks, man. Come on, Joel. And uh, let's see, defense here. How'd everybody do? Uh, tackles. I mean, they didn't. That nobody's really blown anybody away, except Miles Garrett had 16 sacks. Ogba had eight. This dude had eight sacks, and he's like, he's thinking he's gonna go somewhere. How many interceptions did I probably? I only had two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven interceptions the entire. I need to get some better people. So, so yeah. So that's where I was at. My kicking here. He only missed four. I think all four that he missed were over, uh, were over fifty yards. Yeah, six out of ten. So the only ones he missed were were fifty yards or more. And then my punter, dude, he is he averages fifty one yards. He had twenty. He did twenty three punts, and he was inside the twenty twenty one times. So that's pre- there was only two that were not inside the twenty. So that is pretty good. And then let's see if anybody did anything kick return wise. Callaway, no touchdowns and punt returns, peppers and Cohen, nothing. So, all right. So there's that. Let's go ahead and check out the. We'll check out the stats for the whole NFL because I'm pretty sure that I had some guys on the top here for the whole league. So let's look at that passing. Uh, let's see here. Nowhere to be found for yards. Touchdowns, he's not in the top. And interceptions. All right, rushing. Yards. All right, Tariq Cohen, he did have, he did lead the league in rushing. Absolutely. So that's good. Uh, TDs, he led the league in TDs as well. So I can't really complain about that guy, man. He, he did everything he was supposed to do. He had one fucking fumble. See that right there? One fumble in the playoffs. When I was driving down to to tie the damn game up, he turned it over on like the 20. Ugh. So frustrating. Oh, well. And let's see here. So yards. Let's see who we're... uh, So Callaway was actually third in the league in receiving yards. uh, Behind Day-Day Westbrook, who has come out of nowhere as a star, I guess. And but he was a slot guy. Callaway was my number three. So who knows, man? Uh, touchdown receptions. Anybody in the top up here? Uh, nope. Nobody. Nobody from my team in the top here. So, all right. Let's go ahead and go to season awards here, and see how that looks. Uh, nobody cares about weekly awards. We'll go to yearly awards. The MVP was Carson Wentz for the Eagles. And look, there was two, two Rams in the top. Oh, look at. Tariq Cohen down there, number seven in the running for MVP. Coach of the year, I was I was third or fourth here, um, and the Falcons guy won. So let's go AFC. Offensive player of the year, Tariq Cohen. Awesome. So that's pretty good. He won offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year runs to Ryan Shazier. Yeah, of course. That dude is ridiculous. 
he's like inter, he can intercept. He, I've played him twice. He's 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 ridiculous. Oh, Miles Garrett is third. All right, offensive rookie of the year. Please be one of my guys. Uh, who the fuck is that? Somebody on the Steelers. Um, and nobody else on my team. Defensive rookie of the year. Nobody from my team. God, man, nobody I picked up was any good. So best QB. Baker Mayfield's not in the top seven. Go figure. Treat Cohen. Best running back, which is great. Wide receiver. Callaway got fourth, so I can dig that. Uh, offensive lineman. Oh, Joel Batonio and Zeitler were both in the top seven. Uh, defensive lineman. There you go. Miles Garrett. Linebackers. Nobody in my team. Defensive backs. Nobody. Nobody's in the top over here. Best kicker. Number two. So there goes all the yearly awards. So let's see here. What else do we need to show you here? I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we can go over for the season here. So uh, we'll show you the standings for the league. Just kind of show you where every team was. <clears throat> we'll go through the AFC North. I was, uh, I'm not really sure. Why I came in, why I didn't get the division. I had more pay, more points for, I had less points against. Oh, I only had, I only had, maybe it was home wins. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. So as you can see, the Bronze Steelers are up on the top here. The AFC South, uh, the Jaguars and Texans were on the top. AFC East, New England won the division at eight and eight. They're, they're rolling down. They don't have Tom Brady anymore. I'm pretty sure he retired. Uh, Chiefs were eleven and five, and then going to the NFC here, the Bears were ten and six, uh, leading the division there. The NFC South was here: the Falcons and the Panthers. Panthers were not very good. NFC East: the Eagles, the Redskins, and the Cowboys all made the playoffs. And the NFC West: it was just the Rams at fourteen and two, who are who scored four hundred and thirty points. Holy shit! I mean, they beat me in the regular season, but it was only like 17 to nothing. So I'm glad I guess I didn't make the Super Bowl. I would have played them. So, But that's all. I mean, that's basically where this season ended up. It was disappointing. I lost in the divisional round because I fumbled. And then you need to go back and watch the game because I still almost won. It was like, oh, it was a typical Browns heartbreak. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. That is all the time that we have for the Season 2 in review. Uh, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we also have a podcast here at the Crazy Down Podcast, me and TNT Dynamite. Uh, links are in the description. It's also here on the YouTube channel. Check it out. Let us know what you think. But for Jonas, stay tuned. And up next will be the two thousand or Season 2 off-season for where I try to sign free agents, trade players, and do the draft, etc. So, But for now... I am... Um.